Rachel. Welcome to Cooking on the Farm. I'm Rachel, and my guest host is my mother-in-law, Becky. Becky. <laughs> we are actually on vacation. Obviously, this is not my kitchen. I did not redo my kitchen over the weekend, and I wouldn't have picked these countertops, but anyway. All right, <laughs> we're going to show you one of our favorite Christmas it's a jello salad with a lot of fruit in it, and it's so good. I think it's one of your favorites, yes. one of my favorites. So come on in, I'll show you our ingredients. So we have a can of crushed pineapple, sour cream, frozen strawberries that are thawed or mostly thawed. I'm doing a half batch because we're only here for a couple days. Normally you want two three ounce packages of strawberry jello and three bananas, but again, we're doing a half batch. So what we're gonna do is just cut the bananas you just do them in rings and then the rings in half. So you don't want them huge pieces, but you don't want them like uber thin either. You want them to kind of mash. So if you wanted to use like a potato masher and mash these up, that's fine too. But now I'm supposed to do it in half here too, right? Yep. Perfect. So while she's working on that, I am just gonna grab my thing of jello. And so you're doing the package, what it says, and it's one cup of hot water and then one cup of cold water. Um, I'm gonna do the hot water. And then instead of the cold water, I'm gonna use the juice from the pineapple. So normally, and this is when I've measured it before, the juice in the pineapple container, and it is a 20 ounce container of pineapple, in that there's a cup of juice because there's not enough to do both batches. So when you do the cold water, when you're doing both batches, or a full batch, you use one cup of water and one cup of that pineapple juice. But we're gonna dump the whole thing in. Okay. All right, so let me dump this guy in. I'm gonna whisk it until it is completely dissolved. And then once it's dissolved, then you just dump your bananas in, your pineapple. We do need to cut the strawberries still. And those are just gonna be, again, the same bite-sized pieces that you did your bananas in. Just kind of smudge things around. And if you like, if you want smaller pieces, like I said, chop them as fine as you want. And then I'm gonna dump this whole can in. Don't spill on yourself. So you're probably thinking, okay, what's the sour cream about? Sour cream is for the in-between. So this is a, like a layers. I'm not going to use the juice. I guess you could use the juice instead of some of the water. That's up to y'all. Do those need cutting too? Yeah, whatever size. I mean, these are like, you know, half inch. You wanna stir that? Sure. So this will set up pretty quickly, especially if your pineapple is cold or your, your berries are frozen still. It sets up so fast. So you just wanna make sure that everything's kind of dispersed. It's always nice if everything is cold to have an assistant that will stir for you. So you're gonna put sour cream on this instead of whipping cream? No, you never use whipping cream. It's always sour cream. Oh. You always think it's whipping cream because <laughs> it's so sweet, but it cuts that overly sweet from all the fresh fruit that's like ripe. I mean, those, those uh, bananas were perfect for banana bread. They're ripe, ripe, ripe. You do not want to use unripe bananas. They just, it's not pretty, it's not good. So if you, Say you don't like bananas. You don't have to do bananas. If you, I had a friend growing up who couldn't have pineapple. You could not do it with the pineapple. I, it's not gonna taste as good. Cause I mean, it's the perfect combination of all these things. So I used about half of this batch uh, or half of this bag of strawberries. I'm gonna try to pour like half of this in. So what I do is I take some of the the thick part, I guess. And I make a base, and then I kind of pour ooh, some of the sauce on, sauce, whatever. And I kind of make a an even layer because if you're doing a full batch, you'll use a full 16 ounce. It's in a nine by 13. This is a small one, so our layers are gonna be thicker than in a nine by, so I'm gonna use half of this guy. And this holds up for about four or five days. So we're gonna plan on eating this tomorrow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this in the refrigerator until this guy is set. This guy's gonna stay on the counter more at room temperature. Um, and then when this is set to where you go like this and it does the whole jiggle, then we'll add this guy. So come on back in about a half an hour or so. 
Okay, guys, so it's been actually more like an hour and a half because we decided to go play games with the kids. <laughs> so we're just going to literally blob half of this in here. And in a shallower dish, if you wanted to do more layers, you could. I could do a lot thinner layers all the way up. No big deal. Okay, let's get this spread. And you want to wait till this sets up pretty good because I have rushed this part before and it kind of bleeds through, which is no big deal, but it just, you know, doesn't look as pretty. So I try to make sure my edges are really sharp and clean. And then you're literally just gonna put, you don't wanna dump at this point because it could move your stuff around. Oh, and I was realizing when we went um, to go back to the other room, I dumped the whole can of pineapple in. I was supposed to dump half of it in. So this is gonna be super pineapple-y, but is there anything wrong? You can't have too much pineapple, can you? No. I don't think that's possible. So I'm kind of placing the fruit so it's even distribution here, or at least trying to. Looking good. Oh, it smells so good. And then last little bit of pour. Into the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna put this lid on it. And so this is gonna set overnight. I prefer to let it set overnight. If you wanted to put make this first thing in the morning and then make it for like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, we do this for Christmas dinner, um, you could do that. We're doing it the night before because honestly with all the other stuff that we're making tomorrow, it's a lot of work. So, oh my gosh, the smell. <laughs> <laughs> we, may, we may come back and do a spoonful. All right, so into the fridge um, until tomorrow for you guys. All right, see you in a bit. So we are actually have all the food out in the next room over and David's like, we forgot the jello salad. So let's grab it out. Take a peek. Let's see if I can get a full bite. Call it a control test, right? Look at that. So delicious. It's a big bite, y'all. So good. I've got to get this over because everyone's waiting for me. From my vacation to your Christmas, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. God bless y'all. So this is cooking on the farm at the beach. Yep, mm -hmm. cooking on the farm on vacation. On vacation. Yes. Oh, oh this is really sticky. I'm not like these. Uh, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, that's fine. We're not looking for. No perfectionist here. Boy. Can you get it open? I can't. So normally, it's a one pound, 20 ounce. <laughs> <laughs> Get these for out from under. Oops, sorry. Oh. Let me bonk in your pit here. And if you you smudge, smudge, smudge. This is yucky. Oh, that one took me. Here you go. Garbage. You wanna wash your hands? Yes. All right. Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. Is that still fine? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh no, not hiccups. Well, which way are you gonna be? Put it onto there. Okay, go for it. <laughs>